guys, welcome back to part 22 of the Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge. They are just sitting down having a nice little family dinner. Okay, it was nice until Bree decided to choke to death. Uh, but yeah, they're just having a nice little family dinner. I do want to say really quickly, I'm filming this back to back with the last part. So if you left me suggestions in the last part, I have not seen them yet. Um, and also about the last part, I'm sorry, um, I totally forgot my fan was running. So you could probably hear that in the background. Really, really sorry about that. Um, but Brie is going to go attend her garden. She has been getting so many wishes to hang out with Christopher. Um, not going to happen tonight, though, because actually we're throwing a birthday party for her daughters. I forgot. We're going to do the birthday party first. Um, and then she's going to attend her garden and things like that. She'll need to use a shower, Layton, I guess, come use this bathroom, and work out. We'll do cardio, actually. Don't bring a sweat cardio workout. Rufus has fleas. We freaking love that. Why don't you actually, hello, hello, use your potty chair, Jesus. And then you can come play with this. All right, we're going to throw that birthday party for the girls, Harley and Kendall. Uh, birthday party, we will throw it for... I think I'm going to throw it for... No, because Leighton leaves at 2 p.m. But if I throw it at 1, people will show up at noon. And then by the time Kendall gets home at 4, people will be like trying to leave. I'll throw it for 3 p.m. And Leighton can just be fashionably late. Um, okay, so we're gonna invite every kid and teenager, child, and Connor, because he's our dad. You're a teen. Also, my boyfriend's watching videos in the living room, and for some reason, he thinks they need to be max volume. So you can probably hear that. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll invite Reed. Cassandra, Wesley, um, Keon. What? We already are out of people. Okay, well, let's uninvite anyone that's not a friend. Cassandra, Wesley, Keon. Sorry, you're not friends. Um, Claudia, sure. <laughs> Christopher, probably not a good idea. Where's Jamie? Oh, she's on there. Okay. I think this is okay. This will be enough. Basically, kids, teens, and then Kendall's dad. So now we'll see if Connor even shows up. And if he does, what kind of drama that causes. Because I'm sure Leighton, of course, you know, he knows that Connor is invited because it's his child, whose birthday it is. But I'm sure Leighton is going to have some... Uh, some words with that you know he's not gonna be happy about that and also I kind of want Brie to start hooking up with Connor again um, things with her and Leighton are kind of fizzling out I mean they're both cheating on each other Brie after you know her little talk with Hayden when was it Tuesday or Monday or something she kind of is getting the sense that Leighton might be cheating on her so you know they both know that things are starting to fizzle Harley, go play with the damn blocks. I'm sorry, my dog is barking. He's he's rude. He's very rude. He doesn't care. What time did I throw the party for? <gasps> three? I think it was 3 p.m. Let's hope. I just sped through her picking her plants because that's kind of annoying. We only need to save one onion, which literally all we got was one onion, so love that. We're going to go ahead and sell everything just like we do every time. You guys already know the drill you've been known how much money was that 300 380 that was pretty good i'm pretty impressed with that and her party is starting soon which we don't really have any setting up to do for it rufus needs a flea bath so why don't you yeah go pee and then you're just gonna stay outside either until he gets his flea bath i almost said free bath either until he gets his flea bath or until the fleas go away. I've been having this stupid glitch lately where they can not give the pets flea baths. Super annoying. I don't know, maybe it's just like that one save file that it wasn't working, but it wasn't working for like a long time. So maybe it was just that one save file, let's hope. Um, please tell me 
I'm not blind as a fucking bat and that this just randomly appeared here. Guys, in the last part, I looked for that thing for so long. I could not find it anywhere. And then it just pops up right there. That's bogus. That's freaking bogus. I hope people are going to show up. You need to go to work and be on time this time. Oh, Jamie's here. Our first house guest has arrived. How did you get here? School literally ended 15 minutes ago. How are you already here? Anyways, we're going to turn that on. Why did this girl just come out here? Why are you in my bathroom? Can you get out of my bathroom, please? And Leighton... Oh, he's got a game. I was going to tell him to work hard, but he's got a game, so never mind. Hayden, are you here? Who is this? Hank, you were not invited. Um, excuse me. Hold on. I am going to lock this for Sims who cannot open the door. Harley, Hayden, Kendall. Literally just... Well, no, because if I lock it and then I want her to woohoo with someone that's not late and they can't get in. Dang it. Never mind. Whatever. Why don't you call Jamie over so she can get out of my damn sprinklers? Call her over. Bree, go give him a friendly introduction. Oh, of course you guys are hitting that. Oh my god. For a second I thought that was Christopher Steele. I was like, no way. <gasps> Connor's here. Oh, is he leaving? Connor is leaving. It's like he tried to, but he just couldn't bring himself to do it. Wow. Freaking wow. Okay, let's ask about her day. Give her a friendly hug. Get to know her. Harley, why don't you stop with that? What are you guys doing? Um, improve your guitar skill? Sure. Praise. Can you flirt with him? Just like to see what he does. I mean, your boyfriend is gone. Okay, let's pick up Harley. Oh, he wanted nothing to do with it. Nothing. He's married. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Married or engaged? I think that's actually the engaged symbol. The married is the two rings. Oh, Reed's here. Hey, boo. We haven't seen you in forever. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and age up. Oh, Kendall's here. Kendall is here. Here, let's ignore the call. I'm gonna grab two birthday cakes for Harley and Kendall. And then we're gonna go ahead and age the girls up. All right, so Harley right there, Kendall right there. I'm really sad that Connor didn't stay. Like, I wanna like give him the benefit of the doubt and be like, maybe, you know, uh, and now he wants us to fix his shower for him? Mm -mm. That was for anyone but Connor, yes, but mm, no, not for you who, not for you who, not for you boo. Okay, go blow out the candles for Harley and you blow out the candles for yourself. So we're gonna have double birthdays. It's gonna get super freaking loud. Excited for that. I'm sending Kendall and Hayden, as soon as Kendall ages up, I'm sending both of them to Connor's house. And they're going to confront him. Okay, this is about to get really loud, so I'm going to zoom out. That's one thing I hate about, like, birthdays, the burglar alarm. Like, stuff gets so loud. Who's this kid? Zeb Zebolion? Okay, that's an interesting name. I need to think of traits. I haven't even thought about that yet. Okay, she is absent-minded, genius, and perfectionist. She has perfectionist from her mother. Did she get anything from her father? Absent-minded. Okay, so, oh no, I already know what two traits. She's going to be a loner and loves the outdoors are her next two traits. So she is insane and a genius. She has nothing from either of her parents. So I think I might make her... Do I want to do frugal or do I want to do like a... I think I'm gonna... I don't know, you guys. I want to get... I think I'm gonna give her a pets-related trait just in case she does become the heir of the family. Are you fucking kidding me? You have got to be fucking kidding me. Are you... F <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me? You fuck you're fucking kidding me. You're kidding. You're kidding. Go extinguish the flames. Oh my god. Go extinguish the damn flames. 
Your daughter is gonna burn to death. Is she even able she right in the middle of all this? Oh my god, I need a picture of this. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Oh my god. Alright. So here's Bree trying to put out a fire. Here's the whole party freaking out. And then there's baby Harley aging up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, with crawling, crawling in cribs behind her, blah, blah, blah. We can choose a treat. Oh my god. I am going to make her a cat person. I would do animal lover, but Hayden has that. So I figured I would um, switch her up a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at Hayden. I was trying to get a good... <laughs> oh my god. I love Hayden. Alright, Brie, let me see a good reaction from you. <laughs> I cannot deal with this family. I hate this family. <laughs> I love them to death, but like I hate them. Okay, replace place blow your candles out we're just gonna you know we're just gonna jump right back into that we don't even care sorry he thinks he has to blast music in the living room nobody else wants to hear that anyways um, I'm gonna delete this cake because I don't need everyone eating it and we have enough damn cake in the house anyways Layton threw a birthday party for Harley no he did not nice try did you just cheat? Oh, that's probably the fire department. Yeah. It's the stupid fire truck people. Like, I'm here. It's been out. Okay, nice try. Why does she have the rude guest symbol? Eyes confused. Why don't you come celebrate your sister's birthday? She did not want to celebrate at all. Alright, can you, can you age up, please? I'm really, I'm honestly over this. What does she want? Level 10 law enforcement. You know what? Since we know for sure that she's not going to be the heir of the family, I'm going to go ahead and lock it in. Law enforcement. Cute. I like it. Can you freak me age up already? Jesus. Okay, Kendall has reached her teen years. Blah, blah, blah. We've all read this a million times. And I think I want to make her love the outdoors first, and then I'll make her a loner... Um, when she becomes a young adult. Okay. Blow the excitement over. Alright. Don't grab a slice. You actually come out here, plant this, and then you can eat. You just, just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. It's fine. I'm use the bathroom and then dance. How's your game? Oh, they're gonna win. Perfect. And we're gonna go confront Connor. I'm pretty sure they moved. Keaton, Frio, Jason, Connor, Frio. Yes. All right. So we're gonna go visit the Frio house. Okay. Sorry. I just had like a coughing attack. But they're gonna go to Connor's house and basically they're just gonna kind of be like, you know what's going on like you were supposed to come to our party you promised you didn't show up you know that kind of stuff let me actually really quickly look at their facial features i will give them a makeover um i think i'll do a makeover to end this part but kendall is so effing gorgeous look at her she's so fucking pretty i love her i really love kendall like I do love Hayden too, don't get me wrong, so I'm glad you guys wanted to continue the family with her as well. But hey, Kendall is so gorgeous! And here is Harley. She is pretty cute too. She's still a child and she doesn't have her makeover yet, so don't judge. But so far, actually, I'm gonna wait till the next part to ask this so you can see Harley with her makeover so you can get a real look at her. So, 
no judging in the comments who you want to take over the family yet. <laughs> All right, what are you doing? Yes, go plant your onion and then you're gonna need to grab a slice and actually you can grab a slice first and then go dance. You're on your way home and you're gonna grab a slice. All right, I just wanna be able to like follow the girls, you know? Not have to focus on the people at home, you know? Did he not? Oh, I guess he had the sloppy jalopy. He definitely had this car first. Also, where is Kendall? Hello, what is happening here? I'm so confused. Girl, get your ass over here. Okay, literally what the hell is happening? Move. <laughs> Are you like, you, you, you finna visit the house or what you doing? Get up here, Kendall. Honestly, Kendall probably doesn't even know her dad. Like, I don't think he was even around for her at all. You want to come? I, we can literally see you eating. You want to come let us inside, please? Oh, they have the worst relationship. I hate that. I'm actually going to... Um, Drag their relationship up just a little bit. Nothing crazy, but like, they should not have that bad of a relationship. See, they should have that bad of a relationship. Also, let me see this house because I'm pretty sure he, yeah, he's married and they have a, a son who has pigtails together. Hayden learned that Anwar is rich. Bitch, Anwar is not rich. His parents are rich and by parents, I mean his mom because we took Connor for all he has. I think I used to be obsessed with this house. I think this was one of my favorite houses. Okay, sorry, I got interrupted. Someone is weed whacking outside now. We love this, we freaking love this. What is she doing? Oh, she's going inside. Oh, she's going right for him. She's like, mm, we're gonna trap you in a corner here. So I think we're just gonna go straight into arguing with him. You know, she's probably over here like, you were never around. You don't know anything. You missed my birthday today. I am so sorry for that weed whacker out there, but like this part is literally almost over. Uh, yes, I am only doing one day today just because it was birthdays and a lot happened, but this part is almost over, so I don't want to like sit and wait for the weed whacker to be done because I don't know how long that's going to take. See, she's like, how dare you? And she's going to go argue with him too. He's literally going to turn around and his other daughter is going to be yelling at him. Someone in this group has some unresolved issues. I think I'll get out of here before the fight starts. Hanging out with you really beats going solo. That made no sense. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. Why did he not eat? I told him to eat. She does not... Oh my god. Oh my god. Why has nobody listened to me? What are you doing? Go argue with him. You need to witness this. Your sister got to witness you... Or... You, yeah, your sister got to watch you argue with him. But like I was saying earlier, this legitimately was like my favorite house. Like I was obsessed with this house when I only had the Sims 3 base game. And now I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so ugly. <laughs> I'm so judgy though. I shouldn't be so judgy. <laughs> we should know how to throw an off the party. See you later. She's like, how dare you? You have been a terrible father to me. Now she's gonna come over here and like, <gasps> express sympathy for Brie. Yes, you need to go tell your sister everything you saw. You're like, look, you're a teenager now. You can handle it. I need to tell you what Layton's been doing. She's like, what? Did you tell mom? Well, I tried, but I don't know what to do. Um, talk about the fire. That scarred her for life. She's like, girl, I was literally there. I watched it happen. I know. I freaking know. I swear these two have, maybe it's just me. I mean, they are full blood sisters, so that would make sense. But I swear they have very similar faces. Um, they have very different noses, actually. But I think their actual faces themselves are very similar. Okay, so we're not going to stick around at Connor's for very long because I just... I don't think that either one of them would want to do that, especially after arguing. Um, what the heck is this? 
Did I really do? Did I really do the roof like that? I hate myself. I really, really hate myself. Any hoosie, we're gonna send both of the girls home. Go ahead and go here with Hayden. I really wish you could like, I don't know, tell on Layton or some shit. Express sympathy for Brie. Hold up, we gotta try that. We gotta try that. Brie, what are you doing anyways? Why don't you put away the leftovers? You can, sure, clean up. Yeah, that's fine. Layton, you need to eat this. And then go take a bath. And then just watch TV until it's time for you to go to bed. We're gonna shut that off. What a great party. Oh, Reed's leaving. Hayden's on her way home though, Reed. I promise. I promise, promise. I kind of want to... Yeah, before Hayden ages up into a young adult, I, I want her to break up with Reed and get a new boyfriend. Um, just because I, I want my sims to like actually date around a little bit, you know? How many people really settle down with the first person they date? You know, not many people. Alright, okay, just... Okay. I'm gonna have her <gasps> express condolences for betrayal. <gasps> Should I do it? We're gonna do it and see what happens. You can come in here, grab some cake, take a shower. You can just watch TV before bed. I will do their makeovers and stuff as soon as I end this part, I promise. Okay, we're gonna express our condolences for the trail and see how Brie reacts. You should know how to throw an awesome party. See you later. Bye. I'm so scared. What is happening? Why does it look like that? Oh no. Uh oh. <gasps> Oh no. Oh no. She's about to go accuse him of cheating. Oh no. Oh wait, what is this? Sugar cookies. Okay, thanks Hank. Can you, can someone? Oh, it's because she's trying to eat them. Okay, grab a plate and then put away leftovers. All right, we about to go can, um, accuse Layton of cheating. I'm so scared. In the damn bathroom, are you kidding me? The kids' bathroom of all things, too. Can we, can, can, can we not, can we, can we not do this? Can, really? We, okay, that's, I think, the best we're gonna do. Oh. Tar He's like, what are you talking about? She's like, um, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> she literally went, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I cannot believe I just made that noise. Um, okay, so I have never in my life seen this reputation. Layton has a dirt bag reputation. <gasps> what the fuck is that? But her, like, betrayal thing is only one day, which I'm kind of surprised about, but I'm going to have him apologize. That lying, cheating, childless, that child of a motherless llama, Brie will never forget exposing the lowlife's betrayal. So she's going to, he's going to beg her to forgive him. Oh, she's like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, but really, it's not. Let's brighten her day. It's been creepy. She's like, yeah, don't talk to me. Please don't. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Oh, it just bumped up to three. Love that. But she's calmed down. I'm so confused. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys all did enjoy. Um, don't worry, I am still going to keep them together for a little bit longer. Um, probably until this betrayed mood that goes away. And then... Once that goes away, your sims automatically either, like, break up with them, or I think if you have them, like, 
talk friendly enough, they will decide to like try and fix the relationship and they'll stay together. So I'm going to keep them together until this mood that goes away and just kind of see what Brie decides on her own. So I'm actually going to, at the very end of this part, do like a speed through of both Kendall and Harley's makeovers. Um, and then that's going to be the end of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next video. Bye guys.